Great here, and today is the beginning of an experiment that I wanted to share with you. Uh, that being this game right here. Uh, for most gamers, they would probably recognize this as uh, Minecraft, but it really isn't. It is actually a uh, game engine called Mindtest, and there's a reason I, I say that, and I'll explain it in just a minute. The reason I'm looking at this is because of the uh, recent, recent acquisition of Mojang by Microsoft. Uh, a lot of Minecraft players are not especially happy about that acquisition, and they've been looking for alternatives to Minecraft in case Microsoft uh, does what they normally do and just screw things up royally. Mindtest is a game engine which, is, which aims not to recreate Minecraft, but to provide an open source platform for voxel-based games. Um, it is not written in Java, it's written in C++, I believe, and it is built with modding in mind right from the start. In fact, the base game, which is what this is, is very minimal. Uh, it, it doesn't have a lot of uh, features that people who are used to Minecraft would expect. Uh, there's no mobs, it's, uh, well, there's a day-night cycle, I don't believe there's weather, um, just a bunch of other things of that nature. Uh, now, the reason I'm looking at this is because I am one of those concerned people, uh, not that so much that I'm not playing Minecraft, uh, in fact I, I've got a really nice world over on my AT launcher that I might show you sometime, but mainly because it looks interesting and I like the idea that the engine itself is open source and that modding is, is built in from the core, unlike with Microsoft, which uh, is closed source, but also uh, we've been waiting for years for a proper modding API and it still hasn't come. Forge is a, is a great patch, but it is still not official, you know, modding. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually start up a mind test series. And I'm going to approach this from the perspective of a player who plays Minecraft and loves Minecraft and plays a lot of modded Minecraft. Um, I'm by no means a mind test expert but uh, I'll try to explain things the best I can, and I'm pretty sure I'll screw up a few things along the way. Anyway, the first thing that I want to do is I do not want to play in the base game. No. What I want to do is I want to exit to the menu and introduce the first concept uh, that a lot of Minecraft players trip up on. They'll g download Mindtest, and they'll see these two icons down here, and they'll switch between the two, and they'll think, oh, well, this, you know, this says minimal development test. This is uh, something else. I'll, I'll play a game, and uh, they'll load into the world, and there's not a lot there. The reason being is that the, the developers of the mind test engine uh, introduced or, or, or put in a, a minimal game, which is basically a collection of mods. Uh, a game would be the equivalent of a mod pack in uh, Minecraft you know, from like the Feed the Beast or AT Launcher. Um, they put in a minimal game just to show the how the modding API works. It's not intended to actually be played by players. What they intend is for people to develop games and then uh, distribute those games to be in, uh, that that people can play. Like I said, my test is the engine; it's not the game. So I have two games loaded here. One is called Dream Builder. This is uh, a mod, uh, or not a mod pack. This is a game with a ton of mods. It basically has all the uh, the currently uh, well received and in development mods for my test. Uh, it's a bit heavy, and I didn't want to get into that right away. So what I did is I found this other game called Carbone. Now, or Carb1, I'm going to call it Carbone. I apologize uh, to the author if I'm mispronouncing that. Anyway, I found this, this mod called Carbone. It, it provides a, uh, a little bit closer 
experience to Minecraft than uh, the mind test example game does. Also, I added in a few other mods to uh, to get more of a, uh, a tech modded feel. There's a, a mod called Technic, which I think is uh, trying to do something similar to IC2. Uh, there's a, another mod that, uh, well, let me go back into the base game here, and I'll show you the difference. Intro world, there we go. There's another mod called Unified UI, uh, or unified inventory. This is the, what the, the basic inventory looks like. Like, like I said, it's very basic. Uh, unified inventory uh, actually gives kind of an NEI interface to it. It's still very basic because um, this, is, this is still fairly early in the Mindtus development and all these mods are, are fairly new. Uh, I've also included a, a bunch of other mods, but we'll get into that as I encounter them. I've actually not done a lot of research on these mods. Um, I'm going into this cold, and I will be learning as I play, and you will see me learn as I play, and hopefully that will be entertaining. So without further ado, let's start off with creating the world uh, in the game Carbone, modified by me, of course. So, world name, Carbone 1. Uh, there's different map gens. I, I honestly don't know what the differences are. I've tried some of the other uh, map gens. I didn't particularly like them as much as version 6. So I'm going to stick with the version 6. We're going to make sure that the game is Carbone, and we're going to click Create. Once the world's created, you highlight it and click Play to Play. And here we go. Uh, one of the ooh, one of the first things that uh, oh I forgot to, to turn on one other thing. This is the default uh, mind test um, texture pack, and it's okay looking, but it's not exactly to my taste. So I forgot that I had already downloaded a couple of texture packs. All of these are. Supposedly uh, faithful to Minecraft, um, I always played with the base uh, textures there, so I just wanted something that looked familiar, so let me switch over to that and go back into the game. It actually loads pretty quick. There we go. It looks a lot better. Uh, the only problem with this, mo uh, this texture pack is some of the additional items or, or uh, world gen that Carbon or, or some of the mods that I've added um, only have 16 by 16 textures and this is a 32 by 32 mod pack so it uh, it looks like this it doesn't fill up the full like like over here so now I have played my test for a little bit and this mod pack for just, uh, well, I don't know, about 10-15 minutes. I just wanted to, to, to get a good feel for it. And the first thing that I noticed is that unlike Minecraft, uh, in uh, generally whenever you break a block, you it's going to go directly into your inventory. So, that means uh, when you do something like... Grab this. I believe that's tin. There we go. When you do something like this, uh, let's uh, let's really not liking the placement of everything. Actually, th that goes there. That goes there. I'll worry about the rest of it later. There we go. Okay. So in this game, you can do something. Ooh, this is actually too dark for me to show this off. You can actually do something like this. That block way over there, if I break it, it doesn't drop. It goes right into my inventory. So that means mining is a lot safer. Grab a bit of tin here. Uh, that's gravel. And that's too dark. Let's go out this way. Uh, okay, 
up, up, up. Of course, the first thing that every Minecrafter knows, step one, punch wood. Now, the second uh, change between the two games that uh, might catch a couple of people back is the crafting window. As I uh, showed on the on the base game, there was uh, a very minimalistic window. In in this, here's that that NEI interface that I was talking about. But you'll notice that we don't have a two by two gr uh, crafting grid. We have a three by three. Um, in most of the uh, games, you do not get there. There, there is no crafting bench. Uh, you get the three by three right from the onset. Also, um, a lot of the, the Minecraft recipes are, are the same. For example, uh, if you wanted to make a furnace, then it's, it's you know, eight cobble in a square. Um, however, some things have changed. For example, uh, as you might have noticed, one plank, uh, you don't need two planks to make a stick. It's only one plank, and you get nine sticks out of it. Uh, and then you can also switch it back into a plank. Um, I believe some of those recipes are are carbon recipes, and we'll just run across them as we as we go. So, where do I want to set up? I always like setting up high up on a hill. I like having a good vista. Uh, unfortunately, the draw distance is a bit low. And that's why the, we have the fog effects going off in the distance there. So that may not be the best thing, but we'll deal with it as it goes. Actually, I forgot. I did do this for a reason. I wanted my axe, and I wanted my sword. Axe goes there. And finally, just a wooden shovel. There we go. So anyone moving over from Minecraft will uh, can't. We'll find that they're what the heck? Their knowledge transmits over rather. What is this? Huh? Uh, I guess I'm gonna call this home. I'm I'm not opposed to having a, a, a pre-built little fortress here. This is nice. Okay, let's just light up everything here. Um, as you can tell, there's a little bit of lighting errors from time to time. Huh? I could I could definitely deal with this. So. Here is home for the time being. So let's uh, get a little bit more wood. Oh, yes, we do have sheep. Uh, this is uh, something that gets added by by this game. We'll worry about that later. out some wood and find a location in here I want to call my, uh, my main base this looks like a good one uh, yeah yeah we'll go right here that I could pillar before. What the heck? Uh, dirt? Oh. oh, we'll get out that way. There we go. Let's 
Now, I don't think that night is as scary in this uh, game as it is in Minecraft, if I remember correctly. We do have hostile mobs, but they only appear um, in the dark underground. Uh, they don't even appear at night above ground. Uh, that doesn't mean that um, hostile mobs could be added later that do appear above ground uh, in the dark. And actually, I'm not entirely sure if the during the dark portion is even accurate. No, I've got. Uh, Oh, there we go. Okay, I need to get back out. I swear I was able to pillar. Huh. That's odd. Oh, we'll deal with it later. Do I want to make that room my base or... Yeah, no. No, there's nothing down there. Okay, this it is. Let's get some walkway out. More stone. I believe it's actually getting to be nighttime now. Yep, it's sunsetting. So we will let's light this up a bit. There's center, and in we go. There. Okay. Let's set down the base. Now these items were given by default. I didn't actually decide to turn them off. As you can see, we do have a little bit of a uh, hover information there. It says that it's it's blocked by me. Oh, I forgot to check. Yep, my skin works. Okay. That's locked by me, and, and the furnace has no fuel. So, oh, that's right, I don't have a crafting window. I keep forgetting that. I wanted to craft a workbench there. So, let's make a couple of doors. Just to uh, block off things here. Go in, in. There we go. Could have sworn that I had a, uh, a door sound earlier, but I guess not. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Unfortunately, we don't have shift quick to go into inventories, and there is a bit of inventory lag. Uh, they have to get that worked out. I guess I was getting snowballs off of the dirt. I wonder if I could throw those. Hmm. Yep. I'm pretty sure there's a way I can throw them. I just don't know how to do it yet. Uh, let's see. We need a bit more. We have torches. And put the rest in here. Uh, let's actually do one. The one thing I don't know is what the there we go. The what the coal ratio is. Uh, normally it's one to eight for basic coal, but I never really tested that, so we'll find out. It's, uh, it's cooking up pretty quick here. A lot more than 8, that's for sure. Looks like it might be right about 12, 13. And 13 it is, okay. And can now the 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 charcoal is actually something that I added, so I'm not sure. Yes, we can get torches out of that. That's good. 
And I'm pretty sure that we can use it as fuel as well. Okay. Definitely don't want any dirt on the inside. There we go. Oh, there! I could pillar up. Interesting. Ooh, it's definitely dark out here, but that's why I was making the torches, so we could light this place up to do things while we are or to see what we're doing as I'm building. And we definitely want to keep cobble floors. It almost feels like uh, something right out of out of Skyrim. You know, one of the, the ruins that you would find in Skyrim. It, it looks like that. One of those. Uh, uh, except there's no skeletons infesting it, which I think is a good thing. Not much to do at night. And these these coins keep coming up. I'm not sure what they're for. I think it's for like multiplayer, uh, a multiplayer mailbox mod. But tin lumps, saplings. Uh, let's get this in there. And dirt. Okay. Actually, I want a few more torches. Oh, interesting. Whatever's in your uh, crafting grid doesn't pop out. That's good to know. There we go. And let's put down those cotton seeds. I know this is going to be dark. If I had a way to uh, set the uh, time, well, there probably is a way, but I don't know it. But I wanted to actually do some caving, maybe. If I could find one. There we go. No, 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 no. Maybe. Let's find out. No. Just a little dead end here. is quite dark. A little more wood can't hurt. I actually want to find a cave. Let's see what I can find. That goes down a ways. Probably going to be super dark. I'm going to put a cut in here and I will return. Let's. Oh, no need. Found a cave. Okay, so there's some coal there, some more tin. We'll get that later. anywhere it looks like. Ah, one of the peaceful mobs. Rats. And... 
obviously the combat is <laughs> needs a bit of work. Okay. Ooh, this looks interesting. This is huge. Look at this. Now, the one thing I do know about my test is that the the world is actually not constructed the same way. In Minecraft, we've we've got chunks that are 16 by 16 and 256 tall, with with uh, sea level right around 64, if I remember correctly. So you could go, uh, when you dig down, you can only dig down to about Y level 3. And then once uh, you got past that, well, there was bedrock. Uh, mine test actually is not infinite, but for all intents and purposes, infinite in all directions. Uh, something like 32 million, I think. Don't quote me on that. All I do know is that you can dig down quite of quite a distance. Um, in fact, I think sea level is officially zero. And then you start going into negative numbers, and uh, the deeper down you go, the more ore there is. But you, you, you could just keep digging down and down and down, actually to the point where you can't find any more ore. So... And, and the same for going up into the sky. You can go quite a ways into the sky, which allows for some interesting um, terrain mechanics. Okay. Leave that coal for now. said it was, what, 13 for the charcoal, so I wanted to see if I could get... There we go, 13. And uh, my pick is out. However, that just means I can now upgrade to stone pick. Same recipe that uh, Minecraft uses. It does look like it's a bit faster, so... So it's, uh grab the last of this tin and head back. See so if I can find a way out of here. Oh, I'm out of torches as well. There we go. Okay. So there's nothing there. This is the way out. Okay. is other than the top of that hill and let's put a few just a few torches around the around here so if I'm ever coming back I can I can find it by the torches get back into our there's like a torch right over my doors actually I wonder if we can do pressure plates. Looks like we can. Uh, that one? Oh, a bit laggy, but that'll do. Let's get another one over here for this door. Okay. 
actually, before I do that, I actually want to have just a normal furnace. Then, where is it? Fuel fired. Oh, it requires bricks. Which requires nine bricks, which are from clay. At least that part hasn't changed. What has changed, at least in this game, is that instead of uh, four clay per block and four clay per brick, it is now nine clay per block and uh, nine clay per brick. Or nine bricks per block, that's what I meant to say. I could have sworn that I saw a grouping of clay around here somewhere. Is it in that cave? Ah, this is it right here. There we go. There we go. Oh. Might as well grab it all while I'm here. Okay, so we need to cook up eight sixty four is what we need. There we go. I don't know if that's enough fuel. Huh, we'll find out. Anyway, just to show what I was uh, what I was talking about is how do I clear the grid? There we go. Okay, so normally this would make a clay block again, and it doesn't. It actually takes nine clay to make a clay block. And once we get all of the bricks, there we go. Eight's enough to to. Oh well, no, I need nine to show this. Okay, there we go. And of course, this is the Minecraft version for uh, brick blocks, and in this game it is actually 9 blocks. So that's why I needed 64. That's definitely not going to be enough fuel. So... Let's go up this way and do some exploring out this way, see what we can see while that cooks up. Which reminds me, F5, there we go. Does this say where I am? Yeah, so I am on Y26 right now. And that's what I was talking about, how the, the world is... Uh, Let's turn that off again. There we go. Where zero is actually sea level. Let's go through this forest. And see what we can see. Uh, lots of fog. Because... Oh, I forgot. We can't stand on leaves. 
That's good to know. Oh, here, let's show this. Come back down. So here I am. Here's the, the first block of water and Y level zero. So let's head back up. There we go. Let's see if the rest of that has cooked up. Or at least I can switch over to the little coal that I have. Now later on, oh, well, not so much later on, but I am going to get into some automation. I do have a few mods in here that provide automation. Uh, in fact, what I'm trying to make right now is a uh, an upgraded furnace, which is the first step to that automation. That's going to take eight of those. Ugh. Let's make the next one. Fortunately, we do not have the uh, the drag and draw. Uh, actually, I was off. I don't need 64. I need 72. So I need another 9 in there. There we go. 13. I've only got about 26 more fuel to go. So I'm going to put a quick cut here while this is cooking up, and I'll come back when it's done. There we go. I actually did end up having enough fuel, but I'm going to make another another uh, batch of charcoal here. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I didn't want to do that. Ugh. That was dumb of me. Okay. Well, what we'll do here is actually create the fuel-fired alloy I didn't want an alloy furnace. Aw. I thought it was an updated furnace. Well, let's see what this does. Let's drop this down. Uh, let's put it over here. And oh, we have to put two inputs, and then we get alloys out. Oof. In fact, I think we put bronze and iron in there. Maybe it has to be in the ingot form. Let's see what we've got over here. Let's make a ingot of each here. Oh, I didn't notice this. Uh, we have multiple outputs as well. That's nice. Okay. So over here, tin plus iron equals... Nothing. It must be tin and, and copper, and I don't have any copper yet. Well, anyway, there's the uh, <laughs> our first step into actually getting some technology in this mod. Anyway, I think I've rambled on long enough and uh, gave you a good introduction to uh, to mine test and uh, carbon plus uh, whatever mods that I've uh, put together, and uh, we'll see where we go from here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.